Hey guys, we're out here in the shop and me and Kira was laying out some boxes of solar panels and I want to show you guys something here. Windy Nation. These are made by Jinko, J-I-N-K-O. Very good quality, nice four bus bar so you can lay them flat on an RV and get good power out of them. And of course, y'all know that I like the Mighty Maxes. Um, bees put out 85 to 90 percent. Bees here is the same thing. You got to have them that put out that kind of quality. Kind of hard to find. A lot of them are misbranded. But um, look below the video. I'm going to show you something that's in this box. We're going to put some details about what's in this box and what's sitting over here. And I'll show you that right quick so you don't run off yet. All right. We're going to do a little bit of education on batteries. Very important education because I got a lot of people, including a guy named uh, Menard. Is it? Um, that posted, can you explain why everybody's pushing for lithium? And it's not that they're pushing for lithium, it's that they're being pushed to push for lithium. And I'm going to show you why real quick here. So we're going to look at what we got over here. Now, below the video, I'm going to put a link. You go to that link, you're going to get, if you buy these online or order them online, and you can get the specs and a lot of specs on these. These are made by East Penn. Down below the video is a link that's going to get you there, and you're going to go in there, and you can get them for 10% off the whole order that way. And then you get a battery that will last a long, long, long time. So what is what is the age and everything on these batteries here, Kira? These batteries so far have lasted three years. The last set of batteries lasted eight years, but that's because Dad kind of used them for everything. Oh, yeah, well... That's true. Um, yeah, well, the last set of batteries I abused, actually. But yes. same brand. So I made it a little over eight years, eight years and seven months, I guess. I, I think it was. And so they were tough and the same thing. Now, this set of batteries here is branded a Duracell, but they are made by East Penn. And they are the same, if you look them up, as a DECA solar battery. Very popular battery. And very well built extremely well-built battery so we're going to look at that these are 370 amp a piece at about 280 bucks each dirt cheap compared to where we're going we're going to show you something over here that has a a few facts that is going to immediately and i know this because people in the lithium world are getting into cult-like behavior Kind of reminds me of seven, eight years ago, people getting into the wind turbine business, got into some kind of a cult-like behavior. I just wanted to make power. But I took a full averages across the board. The really good ones, the really cheap ones, the really expensive ones. And out of 26 different ones, different brands, makes, whatever, we came up with a law of averages. Now, some of these will go as high as 2002 cycles. How the hell they come up with that? I don't know. Ain't nobody really put these big lithiums in that much time of service. But they're telling you that's what it's going to do. The one thing I do know is that lead acid, it's got a record. It really does what it claims. And you're, Okay, so you're going to call me, oh, you're just old school. Um, sort of. If you're new school and you don't mind spending $7.64 per amp hour, I'm cool with you, man. Be new school. If I'm old school and I don't mind spending $1.73 per amp hour, uh, then I'm old school. Care am I old school? Yep. All right, so let me be old school. We're going to get right back on that chart. Now, over here, you have basically what is inside of even the big borns or whatever they call them batteries the same the same cellular style the same cell design just a bunch of them now there is a limit to how many actual true amps you can get out of these and there's people on youtube man they're making they're making bank and i don't even want to say something about some dude named uh, starts with a w but he's making bank because he's making you believe that showing you one of these batteries discharging onto an inverter for three minutes means that it's capable of running your house. Well, I can tell you what we got running here. You see all them things plugged in, all that power cables? Here's what we got running all in here. Uh, all kinds of shit, actually. So, uh, And power lines running back to the house. But in my situation, I'm not going to go lithium. And I'm sorry if that upset some people because I know it's going to. It's getting to be a cult. But this battery right here, six months old, dead. This one here, year old, dead. In fact, not only dead, 
kind of a little fluffy. This one here, look at that, puffed up, swollen up, overheated, smoked. Let's see here, what do we got here? We got more batteries over here somewhere. All these different phones, lithium, lithium, lithium batteries. Lithium of one form or another. And this one here, I'm going to put you a link to it. Go up there and look at the top of that video. Damn near burnt my shop down, that little $2 battery from hell. All right, so we're going to look at that. But the main thing is I want you to understand is that in solar power and in wind power, lithium batteries, although they're cool and they look good, they're not. I had a guy come in here with a motorhome. That's what started this whole video. He come in here with a $305,000 motorhome with three of these big 100-amp-hour batteries in them sold online by some company. We're not going to mention their names, but I'm sure their attorneys are talking. And burnt the hell out of his motorhome. Why? Because when the guy turned the AC unit on, that big huge surge went through all his equipment, all his safety equipment, all that big money, I think like five grand worth, and set one of them babies off. Now, did it blow up? No, but it swole up so big that the batteries next to it caught fire. Uh, lithium also. And the lithium they were are right here. Now, I asked him, I said, Kelly, um, I said, can I film your motorhome? He says, God, no, I'm going to sue these people. <laughs> um, okay. Write me up a paper. So I did, and it's gone. It's out of here. They got the carpet out. And they, you know, it's, repairs have been done. But, and it stinks. And, and Oh, if a lithium battery catches on fire in your home while you're asleep, you are what's called uh, clinically uh, dead. Correct, Kira? Yes. Yeah, you're dead. Uh, it will kill your ass. So be careful putting a lithium battery in your home. Oh, by the way, don't put it outside in the wintertime when it's 15 degrees because a lithium battery... Um, they don't like that shaver. So now, uh, oh yeah, and if you don't like me saying certain things because you're really upset that you might be selling these, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just going to be truthful. Now, my batteries are flooded. My last set lasted eight and a half years, and I abused them. And they have high cycling abilities, a typical thing, but at $1.73 an amp hour. Now, lithium. Seven dollars and sixty-four cents. Now you see a hundred amp hour battery that they want nine hundred and fifty dollars for. That would be nine dollars and fifty cents an amp hour, correct? But we took a law of averages. We included DH Gate, Bang Good, wherever you could get these batteries from. And the same battery they're selling for a thousand bucks, nine fifty. You can get them for five hundred off of AliExpress. And if you want to go verify the contents of that value, I'll put it right down there at the bottom of the video somewhere. A link to where the same battery in a different case, <laughs> same thing, is half the price. If you really have to have them. But I'm telling you now, I want you to look below the video at that link for batteries and go there. You, you got room. You got room. If you're putting solar on something, yeah, you got room. Don't trip. But here's your factors right here. I want you to look at them carefully. Four to five year lifespan. $7.64 an amp. And it dies in five years. Now, when they tell you the lithium battery has got 1,890 cycles, and then at the end of it, it says varies. Why? There's a reason. Because you cannot successfully, properly, let's put it that way, properly use a lithium battery, just like this tool battery, if I plug it in and try to use it, nothing. Can't pull from it while it's charging. You're only going to pull from the charging circuit, which is insufficient to run the drill. Now, this battery here, listen. Nice impact, huh? It's not a dead battery. It's a shorted battery. I checked it. It's only putting out like 10 volts. I think I actually might have a tag on it, but they'll probably sue me. Everybody's litigious. So, lithium. Think it over. Expensive controllers. Not 120 bucks, 300 bucks. So, that little bit of money right there at $7.64, that's just buying your battery, buddy. That ain't buying your safety. That ain't buying your, your temperature sensors. That ain't buying your specialized controllers. Nothing. So if you look at a guy like uh, G. Bear down there in Arizona, 
been on them old batteries. Hell, I think he's going to be on them old batteries till he dies and pass them down to his kid. And they are just regular lead acid. So I just want to give you guys a heads up. I don't like the fact that I got to see a motorhome coming here. Huge, big, 39 foot, Kira? Yeah, it was 39 foot. Yeah, 39 so foot burned up. You will open the door. The battery thing was right in there, and it was just crispy. Um, the whole place smelled like just eggs that would, had been uh, rotten eggs, sulfur. You'd expect that smell out of these, but it was like rotten eggs, burnt plastic, and hair, burnt hair. Oh, yeah, I thought I was going to puke. Yeah, curious, <laughs> nobody wanted to go in there. But that's what they do. So um, what if them people would have been asleep in that thing? It killed them quick. I mean, we couldn't, it had been aired out for a day, and we couldn't even get in there and breathe. We had to wear all kinds of gear. So this is telling you here, guys, I don't want to pop anybody's bubble, but you need to understand that these batteries, they have a power constant rate differential that varies. They are not great for putting on solar and wind power. I know that there's guys out there selling the crap out of them, and you're watching their videos. But at this point, these batteries have not been out long enough to get that kind of information effectively and accurately. These have been out, I don't know, 100 years, 120 years, 150 years. That's accurate. That is a little bit to worry about. In lab test. What are you, a rat? Don't be someone's rat. All right, guys, I just want to give you that. Give you a better place to buy batteries and save some money. Make room for them. Y'all be good.